Do you want me to do anything, doctor? Yes, please. Uh, let's start with uh, monitor and also uh, saturation, please. My name is Danny, Danny Wildekens. I am a paramedic and one of the uh, persons that own Sector Medical. Regular breath sound. Sector Medical is founded by medical professionals for simulation. The things we do here is we sell the products that make simulation more lifelike. We try to train the people and the way they have to perform. So train as you fight and fight as you train. We just take one blood pressure and then I'll see what I can do for you immediately against pain, sir. There are several levels of learning. The first one is theoretical learning. The second one is skills. Well, we do not perform skills here and theory, that's what they've done at home. But then we go into scenario training. Scenario training basically means we're going to put you in a lifelike situation and now you have to come up with your theoretical knowledge combined with your, uh, with your skills. Above scenario training, there's a fourth level. And the fourth level is simulation. And simulation means that you have to interact with all the other people. So if we put a little bit of pressure on the situation because we make the patient deteriorate rapidly, or we bring in some very specific complications, or we do something like bringing in the wrong medication on purpose, they will have to interact with the entire team. Do they see each other's faults? For instance, a nurse should say to the doctor, doctor, I think now you're making a mistake. And that's one of the things, this is absolutely a perfect environment to, uh, to do so, because we can also show it later on at what time it went wrong and what the interactions were. And people learn a lot from that. Okay, we're now entering the room. You see here, there's a, a room and uh, we only see the walls. And now uh, we can start up a scene. And on this moment, we are really in an operating room and with the computer we can make some other scenes, for example, in the central station of Rotterdam. In the immersive room we can project a, a scene with 217 degrees, so it looks like you're really in the scene. The first type of simulation we see here is the mannequin. This is a very specific, real life looking mannequin. The second thing, very important for simulation, is the monitor. This is not a real monitor. This is basically an iPad based monitor and we can simulate anything we'd like on that monitor. Even x-rays, ultrasounds, blood gas types, all kind of elements that we can use to draw your students, your candidates, into the scenario. And the third type of uh, simulation we're using right here is our environment. Now we use uh, a theater, as everybody knows, within the hospital, where we can change to a street situation anywhere we'd like. If you would like to see a canal, if you'd like to see a, a part of the mountains, if you would like to see whatever it is you'd like to see, we can show it to you. Can we make a 12 lead EKG? Of think? course we can, of course we can, no problem. It feels f very free to make mistakes, to learn from each other and um, to learn from monitors, patients, everything. Uh, it's a safe environment, yeah. So that makes it really easy to learn, to learn by myself and to learn from each other, yeah. Okay, dear candidates, uh, we are just starting the uh, scenario. If you look at the monitor, you will see some more information. Good luck. We are trying to make by ourselves a system for debriefing and we were really facing some problems and then we find out that the FISO software from Noldus really covered all the problems what we are facing and with the system we really can give our customers a tool to have a debriefing system with everything what they need in the system. The first time we did this scenario? Yeah. How did it feel? It's a dedicated debrief program, which means that if we set everybody together around the television screen, everybody's uh, taking a look on their own performance, but it's also filmed from different angles. And we can go back to certain moments 
which we can highlight and, ex and make sure everybody is seeing the same situation from different angles. And that's, that's absolutely something uh, very uh, worthwhile because then you can see your own performance and we ask the people to interact themselves on their own performance. And I think that's absolutely uh, magnificent. Now we have the blood pressure, 140 over 95. So I think we can, I'll hold this one for you. Thank you. I think we can... Uh... In the near future, I expect that walls like these, on which we can project, are quite common also in the hospitals. Not only for patients' rooms, but also in operating theatres, simply to influence the environment. We can bring people in another environment, but also give them the ability to gain extra information simply by tapping the wall and then the pop-up screen will tell you everything you want to know.